All right, guys, welcome back to Southeast Speed Shop. Really quick video tonight. I just want to give you a quick update on the progress of the third gen. A lot of this um, kind of body work and paint work stuff, pretty monotonous and boring, a lot of sanding, taking panels off, stuff that uh, you guys can find uh, other channels if you really want to know how to do the body work stuff. I've gone over some of it in previous videos, like the Nova, but trying to get a lot of stuff done in a short amount of time. And I've been sick for a couple weeks with some allergy stuff anyway. Allergies here in Georgia or the pollen and stuff is terrible. So I've been out of commission a little bit. But I'm jumping back on it. And yeah, here's a quick video. Quick little rundown of where we're at. As you can see, I got the hood off the car. I've got the hood blisters done. Check these things out. So they've been heavily modified. Turn them over here and show you a little bit of what we did. Um, I had to cut these stud humps i don't know anyway they stuck up quite a bit higher because these things are supposed to sit down into a trough into a hood made for specifically a z28 hood that's made for these vents um, i have a flat hood because i have an rs car <clears throat> so i modified these to work with my flat hood um and i like that because the look is just as it's basically the same actually i think they're going to be a little bit taller a little bit more uh, prominent than the Z28 style because they're sunk down in there. So I dig that. So anyway, got these things uh, relocated. And I've got a video, I think, uh, on some of that I've done. Also, I cut out the, in, uh, the, the, the piece inside here <clears throat> so that it would be a functional hood scoop. And also cut my hood. So I've got holes in the hood to support functional air scoops. So yeah, anything we do, we want it to be functional. And oh, let's see, put this back on, give you a little preview. That looks good. So they are, uh, they've been sanded, they've been body worked, everything looks good. I'm not on final, final prime, but I'm on the last blocking before I will put this hood in these blister panels and uh, final prime and they'll be ready to paint. So progress there and then can't see it really well but this is the front fender um got it off the car let me show you the car take a look and see what's happening over here here we go she's naked ground effects are off front fender's off obviously the hood's off obviously the front end had a tweak to it a tree had uh, apparently fell in the front of the car and messed up the old front bumper so we got a new front bumper it is in primer ready to go I bought a new front spoiler piece, so the whole front end will be brand new. Um, I have detrimmed most of the car, with the exception of some of the weather stripping, some of these drip rail pieces. They got to come out. Um, the doors have been detrimmed, taken apart. Uh, let's see what else. Had a little body work here on this mirror. I had to do, so I had to use the stud gun, pull this area out a little bit. Had a crease in it where somebody had backed, uh, looked like it backed into something, and it folded the mirror a little bit, creased it. So. We got that pretty close. We'll put some uh, filler in that. And the doors are pretty pretty good. Uh, the rest of the car is in really good shape. There are a couple little dents and dings that I've already fixed in the car. Um, but just blocking and sanding work, right? You saw us make the spoiler. It's been taken off and it will go into paint as well. Cleaning that guy up. Yeah, just detrim. Still gotta get the door handle, door lock out of this side. But the door detrimmed. This door had been replaced on this car. And I knew that when I bought it, but uh, the door that's on it is actually in really good shape. Um, actually, better shape than the other door. But it just didn't get painted very well uh, when they when they moved the, uh, you know, when they put it on. Whenever that was, could have been any time. Could have been ninety one. Could have been three years ago. Who knows? Um, but all in all, the car is in pretty good shape body wise. You just got to do a little bit of cleanup on it and uh, sand and blocking. I'm going to pull this front fender off and expose the whole front end. Because why? Because LS swap is why. Next thing to do once this uh, all the body panels come off and the detrimming work comes and I take all the interior out of it, uh, I'm going to put all that stuff in the trailer, gut the car, and then the engine's got to come out. That's right, engine, transmission, rear end, gas tank. Basically, we're going to have a shell. Uh, this whole car is going to be coming out. All the suspension is going to come out. 
the whole gamut. Um, I'm gonna get the car in the air. I'll start cleaning up underneath it a little bit and I guess start putting, you know, kind of from the ground up, if you will, on it. I'm gonna put the fuel pump in the fuel tank. Drop my camera, checked it up. Anyway, I gotta get a new fuel pump in, run fuel lines, um, fuel pressure regulator in the back, the Corvette style deal, I'll show you that. Um, get everything underneath the car ready to go, right? And then I gotta drop that LS that we built in there. So we got a 6.0 LS with a wicked cam and a bunch of upgrades to it, you know, 400 plus horsepower engine, hopefully. Um, we're gonna drop it down in here, bolt it up to our T5. I got aluminum drive shaft for the car. I got a new rear end built for it. Um, all new suspension, torque arm, uh, you name it, everything's gonna be new. We got a lot to do. Like basically build the whole car. Um, call this GM factory from 1991. Welcome to Canada. Anyway, we got a lot to do, short time to do it. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to make at least LS Fest this year with it. That's the goal. Um, it'd be really nice if we could get on Power Tour. It'd be really cool. But uh, that's coming up fast, guys. It's April. I got two months away. And that, that ain't going to happen. I don't think I can do this car two months unless I had about 30 of you guys come help me. Um, and then, yeah. Anyway, so that's kind of where we're at right now if you can see back into there's, there's some coney shocks and some uh all kinds of goodies for suspension back there but anyway guys hope you're doing well third gen's on the move a lot to do i'll keep you updated see you next time